happen throughout the year in certain areas. Furthermore, we may not be able to recycle such materials in developing countries who may lack recycling programs or infrastructure investments for recycling and composting facilities. So even though they have the climate, they may not have the social and economic support. Bioplastics which enter the landfill follow the same fate as other plastics and garbage that end up here. And in landfills, a lot of the garbage and plastic contributes to the production of methane gas. Methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas and is produced by human landfills all over the world, as well as cows. <laughs> this highlights the need for effective recycling programs at both the household level and the regional levels, and we need this sort of recycling happening at a global scale. Other ways which you can take charge is, like I said earlier, setting up a recycling station in your own house. Just simple paper, plastics, waste, and compost. Doing this makes it easier to sort materials right in your kitchen and breaks the habit of throwing everything right into the trash bin. If you want to kick it up a notch, you can also organize your own cleanup somewhere in your own community. Just tuck a plastic bag in your pocket and pick up a couple items. Simple activity like this increases your awareness of how much waste is truly around us. And remember, whatever you do, don't be a litter bug. After each podcast, I will be providing a link full of resources and interesting websites which I use to create each podcast just so you can do your own research and see the research I've done as well as have some resources to ways you can get involved and ways you can change your own habits. See you next week!